Hello everyone, it's Connor the Squirrel. It's that time of year again. It's 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 the Super Bowl. And I'm here with Voice of Reason. What up? And Nikki V. I love soup. Soup is very good, especially when it's homemade. I actually did. I actually made homemade soup uh, a week ago. Made chicken dumpling soup. I made it last week. I, I made homemade chicken and vegetable soup, and it was delicious. Nice. Did, uh, did you use um, uh, poultry stock for that? For I like... used bone broth. Bone broth, okay. I, I, I made everything from from scratch. Nice. Okay, yeah. <laughs> the yeah, only yeah. way I could make it from, more All from right, so scratch. So this podcast is no longer about sports. We're, we're not, we're not, we now talk about soup. Oh, we're talking about a different soup. Super Bowl. Right, we got a different thing. Super Bowl. <laughs> right. Super Bowl Fifty Six. This, uh, okay. I'm just gonna point out uh, that none of us, I, I think, predicted that either team would have went on to the Super Bowl. And uh, for example, I, I absolutely I, I actually, not. Yeah. So I actually went back to look at what our predictions were for the playoffs. So Nikki, your AFC, mm-hmm. AFC and NFC, you had. Uh, on the AFC side, you had Browns as number one. <laughs> <laughs> you had no. You had Colts at number two. <laughs> God damn it! You had Chiefs at three. That's <laughs> reasonable. Uh, Bills at four. So okay. <laughs> you had the Chargers at five. That's not that I mean, unreasonable. They were like one game away. All right. You had the Ravens at <laughs> six. You had the Ravens at hey, six. Hey, they, they made it as a five. They made it as a five. Yeah. You had the Ravens at mm-hmm. six. Uh-huh. And the Broncos at seven. <laughs> I would like one alcohol, please. Uh, let, wait, hang on. It gets better. Let's have a look at the NFC side. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't get better. No. Uh, you actually had the Bucks at number one. I mean, uh, I mean that's understandable at yeah. the start of the year. <laughs> yeah, the Seahawks. Yeah, but he, the- yeah, but then he had put the Seahawks at two. God damn it! <laughs> and then the Bears at three. I had the Bears high. Yeah. Jesus. Three. Oh god! Then I uh, bet you had them higher. Then, then the football team at four. That's a, worse. There is no way of knowing the Cowboys were not. There was no way of knowing the Cowboys would actually be good. Hmm. You actually got one like dead on. You got the Cardinals at five. There we go. And the Saints at six, which they could have made it if not if for- they had. Uh, if they had, like, Jameis for, like, one more game, they would have made it. Mm-hmm. And then you had the 49ers mm-hmm. at 7. And I think they were actually... They were, were they the 6th or the 7? They were 6th. Yeah, because the Eagles... There's, there's not much right. difference between 5, 6, and 7, usually. Sure. Yeah, so out of the total teams you had, you had... 3, let's see, 2, two 3... Four, five, uh, five correct for your playoff predictions, and one was That's dead. Really? On. Oh. And one was dead on. Kana, right. I'll take that. Kana, your side. Oh, you. Yes, let's oh. share the shame. Uh, AFC Bills at number one. Understandable. Mm-hmm. Okay, Titans at two. Switch that around. That's that again. Pretty close. Yeah. There you go. Good job. Uh, Browns at three. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. We uh, we all thought the Brown. This was this year's Brown. This year was the Browns to win. Yeah, um, obviously and, not. And then you had, a fucking sadness. And then you had Chiefs at four. <laughs> cool. Okay. Uh, Ravens at five. And they would have made it if they weren't just injured the hell and back. Uh huh. You did, and you got the Patriots six, which is which was dead on. <laughs> and then you also pick the Broncos at seven. Hey, all right. Yay. You don't get to clown me anymore for that. 
All right, on your side, uh, you also picked Bucks at one. Mm -hmm. Understandable. Uh, this makes no sense. You put the Bears at two. Ha! I knew it! Yeah. Uh, you got the 49ers no. at three, though. Hey, that's good. Uh, oh, a little I think you were the only one of us who actually picked the Eagles, because you had them winning the division at four. Mm -hmm. uh, you had the Packers getting the wild card at five. Uh, Saints at six, and then football, te football team at seven. I did. Honestly, I would say them getting the football... Honestly, I would say them getting the foot or a wild card would be even worse than them winning the division because, like, they could win the division at seven and ten mm -hmm. if the Cowboys had sucked. All right. And okay, let's take a look at mine. Okay, so mm -hmm. my number one. So my number one was the Chiefs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My number two was the Browns. We all thought we all bought into the hype. Yeah, my no. What's worse is my number three was the Colts. Hey, my Colt. I, I had the Colts pretty high too. Mm -hmm. I I remember during the uh, during the the time when we did this all. I was saying Carson Wentz comeback player of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> uh, number four is the Bills. Uh -huh. uh, I had Chargers at five. Not unreasonable. Uh, Titans at six. One of these days, Justin. One of these days, Justin Herbert is going to make that jump, uh -huh. and like he's going to be, like the Chargers will be good. Mm -hmm. uh, at the Titans at six, and yeah. then and then the Ravens at seven. That nearly happened. <clears throat> and on the other side, Rams at one. I had the hey. <laughs> hey. Yep. Yeah. There and go. I got and I got the Buccaneers correct at two. Nice. All right. This was a dumb move. I had the I had the football team at three. Okay, that's why did we believe in the football team so much? Because we liked the defense. Yeah, and and you know what else? It would we also would have liked Fitzpatrick. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. And I had the Fitzmagic would have been fun. And I had the Packers, mm -hmm. and I had the Packers at four. Um, mm -hmm. um, uh, my wild card, I had the 49ers at five. There you go, good job. Okay, the Seahawks at six. Eh, I can't win them all. And then I picked the Vikings at seven. Kirk Cousins, not even once. <laughs> Oh my god. So, yeah, so each one of us at least had one correct spot for mm -hmm. for our playoff prediction. Mm. But uh I'm the only one that actually had one team actually go to the Super Bowl. Hey, yeah, you're right. And speaking of that Super yeah. Bowl. Yeah. And speaking of that Super Bowl, Bengals Rams. It's time, man. I I love this so much because it's just like who, like I remember when we did that video. I had the the Bengals actually pretty like like comparatively. I was the only one who thought that the Bengals were gonna not just be the worst team in the league. Because you got to remember, they're coming off a two win and a four and a half win season. So, optimistic people were saying six, seven. I think I had eight. I was the I was the pessimist eight. among us. I was the pessimist among us. Mm -hmm. I had them only getting four. Yeah, like sure enough, ten wins in a Super Bowl appearance. Yeah. Uh, so I count that as a win for me. <laughs> and. So and meanwhile, on the other side, you got the super team. Yeah, this is this is the team that Roger Goodell had always hoped for when he wanted a team to move to Los Angeles. Yeah. Anyway, kind of you were saying. Bengals have they've got the their biggest issue is their mismatched mm -hmm. own line. Mm. Yes. 
if the airline it's fate to complete yeah i was just listening to um on the on my way home uh, to spain and fitz on uh espn radio uh they were talking to uh one of i think san francisco's um offensive lineman is basically saying how do you basically okay what advice would you give to the Bengals to prepare for aaron donald some of it basically say good luck because mm-hmm. it's not it's not just aaron donald you also have von and also von miller and also um uh jalen ramsey also starting uh about to ready to get started a feud with um uh, Jamar Chase is like he's going to cover him all day, so we'll see if he back. Mm-hmm. Let's see if yeah. he backs. Let's see if he backs that up. It's going to be. Yeah, you got Eric Waddell on his final legs. Mm-hmm. He's going to get the green dot, which means he's going to be the defense's play caller. So that that be kind of that's kind of cool. Like he he basically came out of retirement for the playoffs and was just like, look, guys. I have exactly four games left in me. <laughs> oh my god! Anyway, so that being that being said, gosh, actually, I should probably check out what the uh, the betting line is because I don't think we've done that in like in, like since the wild card round. Probably not. Last I remember at work, uh, it was four and a half. But yeah, that's, fa- that's 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 ours. And in favor of the Rams. Okay, in favor of the Rams. All right. Uh, let's see. That's what, no, I don't want to sign up for that. I just want to know. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is what happens when you use McAfee instead of Google. Come on. Jesus, uh, checking. There we go. Yeah, see. Minus four point five in favor of the okay. LA. Rams. Four and a half. Yep. Oh boy. All right. It's about right. Yeah. No. It, it, that's gonna say it's gonna be a close game. The question is, do I go in with the upset? Hmm. I desperately want to say, Kitty goes meow. That <laughs> then say. Do it, but I can't. I gotta pick the Rams. I think this. Like I, I, I love the defense. I think they're. I, I honestly think this is uh, the Rams' time to shine. If they do not win this, uh, like it, super teams are are dead in the water. Like yeah. Like you cannot you cannot rely on draft like getting people in free agency uh, to make the best possible team in you know in Madden. No, uh, if if they lose, like people are gonna avoid doing that. They're gonna uh, they're gonna you know like start working on okay, let's actually build people up, up from the ground up and not you know acquire left and right and pull a Patriots as it were. Yeah. But I wonder if the opposite is true. Like say the Rams do win this, are we going to start seeing a lot more teams start to fling around, uh, track or draft picks with like all willy nilly because they can build the team for now. Mm, I know. Like, I wonder if that's going to start something. It's uh, it's a, I don't know. I feel like it's a, it's a short time. So it's it's a short time solution with long term consequences. If if that mm-hmm. if that happens, right. But but, it, but at the same time, yeah. There's a, there's really nothing stopping that defense unless you know, uh, Jamar Chase man, Jamar Chase T Higgins and. Uh, uh, Tyler Boyd just outrun that secondary, so I'm, ta- I'm mm-hmm. taking. So I'm taking the Rams in this one. Right. Mm-hmm. So, so I think that if the Rams lose, their window isn't gonna 
it, their window isn't necessarily going to be closed because they they still have like like they still have a lot of their their main core. Um, like they they will probably have to re-sign Odell Beckham at a big price, but like in terms of cap space, they're not that much over the cap at the moment. Only about four, like less than fourteen million, and you can restructure a few contracts to make that work. Hmm. But they, they like, are not Packers level of fucked. Not currently. Yeah, no. dude, the Saints last year were a hundred and something million over, and they pared that down and nearly made the playoffs. So the pack or the Rams can do something and like still have a couple of years, maybe not a lot of years, because Stafford is uh he's probably like early thirties now, maybe even late or mid thirties. So he he's starting to get up there, but he's still probably got at least a year or two left of being a a top what would you consider Matt Stafford? Would he be a top five quarterback? I put him with the with good weapons top five at, on his own which he has yes uh, on his own i'd probably say top 10 mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah that sounds about right matt matt stafford is 34 yep 34 okay so yeah mid mid 30s going on as, as of this and... week he is 34 Oh, did he just have a birthday? Seventh of February. Oh, hey. Well, that was two days ago. Oh, one day ago. Well, happy bl- well before. happy belated birthday, Matthew Stafford. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't that, man, wouldn't that be a birthday present? <laughs> right. Super Bowl present. Me. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, I, I personally think. So the the Bengals have really punched above their weight heading into this because their offensive line just cannot protect Joe Burrow. He, they gave up nine sacks to, I want to say the Chiefs, right? Uh, no, it was the uh, the Titans. No, Titans. Yeah, that's it. He gave up nine sacks. And, like, that's not sustainable, especially when you're going up against, like, the best defensive tackle in the league. And, like, one of the best pass rushers of all time. Like, you can't do that. That being said, their window is only just opening. And not only are they all very young, they are all still on relative... Like, they're all still really young. And uh, not only are they making it this far already, they have, like, 50 million in cap space. They are going to they are going to be the hot spot in free agency next year. Like they're gonna be the team that people are gonna be like, I wanna get in on this to go Super Bowl chasing. <laughs> so I think that we'll we'll see an even more uh built Bengals offense next year. Hopefully with a, a few extra pieces on the offensive line, but yeah. Like I think that the Bengals are close to making it, but I don't think that this is going to be their year. I think it's going to be a close game. I think that the Bengals cover the spread, but I don't think they win. Taking the Rams. And Kana. I I, I have a very simple... Like, all your reasons are perfectly valid, and I agree, I agree with all of them, but there is a very simple reason why I am not picking the Bengals. Because urinating tree picked the Bengals. Hmm. Can't have that. The the, the tree curse is strong. Mm. So are we all taking the Rams? Yes. Though I will be throwing... Like... Though, though I will be throwing, uh, mm. like, ten bucks at the Bengals, because... If I win, yeah, why not? Sure. Uh, hey, sports bet, sports betting legal in New York. And by the way, it is uh, as of I think yeah uh, Monday, it has overtaken New Jersey as the number one state for sports betting. Dang! It's, it's they, they legalized. They legalized it in January. 
Mm, it's almost as if sports betting is very popular. It is. Like, they just legalized mobile betting down here in Louisiana, like, maybe two or three weeks ago. But... Anyway, anyway, we're all picking the Rams because the Rams are, uh, are the more complete team compared to the Bengals. Yeah. Yeah, I look forward to being wrong on this one. I hope. Oh I, yeah, I, I hope I'm wrong. Because uh, I'm, I'm going with. Because I, I, it's because the, the, like if Joe Burrow manages to get get this win for for Cincinnati, that'll not only is that a great accomplishment on his own part, he's also he's it's also a win for Paul Brown. Uh, mm-hmm. and it's also a win for Harambe. Did you see? Did you see that? Oh, uh, yeah, they're doing this one for Harambe. God damn it! Let that mean die. No, no. This is this is how we get us get us back on the right timeline. Everything went wrong after that fucking monkey died. Ape. It's not a monkey. It's an ape. Ape. Yeah. yeah. Everything so, uh, went to shit after that. This is how we correct it. So I, I just, I just did some quick searching. Mm-hmm. Out of the seven losses the Bengals suffered, five of those losses were to teams that did not make the su- the playoffs. And one of them was the Jets. <laughs> mm. And one of them was the Bears. Mm. They lo- They lost to the Browns twice. And, you know, mm. yeah. so yeah, so that concludes our uh, our our year of talking about football. But I don't think we're done yet because I have something that I want to announce. I am going to be streaming the Super Bowl on hey. my on my channel, and you are all welcome. If you're if, if you are available, you're not working. I'm going to be starting at 6.30 when the... Uh, actually, no, not 6.30. I'll be starting at 6 o'clock uh, Eastern Time on Sunday. Uh, getting ready mm-hmm. uh, to stream the Super Bowl. Sega's going to be uh, Sega's also going to be there. Uh, we're, we're all going to be in our NFL stuff. We're going to be watching the game uh, on the TV, talking about the commercials, talking about the game, doing live commentary. I want you guys to be there uh, if you if you guys can make it. I'm going to try to. Like, I do have to work on the day of the Super Bowl. Uh, we're going to be so busy at the casino. But, like, uh, hey, I'll, I'll try to pop in. I, I have worked in Australia. We have the AFL Grand Final. And I have worked on that day in hospitality. It sucks. Mm-hmm. It just does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, like, this, be- is, this is... I'll be trying to join as well, but time zones. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Hey, we'll see what we can do. But until then, we will mm-hmm. see, we will see you guys uh, whenever we see you. Maybe we'll talk about wrestling cuz you know, this used to be a wrestling yeah, I... at one point. Hey, yeah, I'm going to do Hey, duck. Hey, yeah, duck. Yeah, I got a, another pot or not another pot, I guess another mock draft coming out probably sometime in the next uh, few days. To a week, and also uh, I'm gonna get, get in back to uh, how stuff should have booked stuff, rebooking things. Yes, that's gonna be fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we really should do that best and worst thing that, that we never had a chance to do. Yes. Yeah. Yeah.